Hello, Father Tim from St. Thomas Beckett again. Today is Thursday, October 1st. The reason I mention that, it's my brother Tom's birthday. Tom lives in Pennsylvania. Tom is one year younger than I am. I call him every year on his birthday. We have a wonderful conversation. I just finished that a little while ago, that conversation. When we were growing up, Tom was a much better athlete than I was, academically better, more intelligent. However, he was not at that time, nor is he now, better looking than I am. Just kidding. As years moved on, becoming maybe a little older and wiser, I realized that we were not comparing ourselves to each other. We did not have to be each other. We were not competitive. We were not jealous. And maybe the lesson was to be able to appreciate the uniqueness and the giftedness of each other, not having to be like each other. That lesson also became a reality for me first year of my priesthood. When I followed Father Tim Power at a parish, and I felt I needed to be like Father Tim Power. Tim eventually became a mentor and a friend of mine. Eventually, we even worked together in a parish. And I realized, with the help of others, that I did not need to be Tim Power. I was to be Tim Wozniak. Once he shared that you know, as priests, we don't need to fall into the trap of saying, oh, I wish I could be like that other priest as a good preacher or as a good administrator or as a good hospital visitor. Can we not just say, I am glad that he is gifted at being, and then look at ourselves and say, and you know, I am gifted and good at and just appreciate the uniqueness and the goodness and the giftedness of who we are. So my prayer is a little different this week. Is there someone that you haven't talked to for a while and can give a call to and let them know how important they are to you, how much they mean to you, what a gift they are to you, and second of all, I'd like you to either take paper, take your laptop, or even take your cell phone, and write down the five things that you are gifted at, that you are talented at, that you are good at. Now, don't fall into the thing about, well, I can only come up with one, or I can only come up with three. No. You have five. Make it five. And realize that God has created you, gifted, talented person for who you are. If I had the opportunity to make that phone call, I would choose all of you as those people I'd like to make that phone call to and let you know what a gift you are to me, how important you are to me how much I miss you, and to let you know that. So I'm doing that now, through this. Let's keep praying for each other. Keep praying for me and praying for you. We will get through this. We are being lifted up by our God. Take care. God bless.